is Duke 597 um, from Chicago, Illinois. Originally born in uh, Indiana, but I was raised in the South, uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Originally Orange Park, Florida. So who are you with and how did you meet the homies you make music with today? I'm with Team Sound Global. Um, and honestly, we've been making music since like 2014. So like, I was in school, just, you know, rambling, doing shit by myself and shit. Not really making music, but just like chilling and shit. And then I met Tony, uh, played basketball with Eric, uh, AKA OG Rick Heron. Um, and I met the new GDK, just like on some school shit, just chilling and shit like that. And Originally, we formed this like first little group a long ass time ago, like 2014, like I said, called Merchandise uh, with other members like uh, Rob A and uh, Mel Kip and shit like that. I'll probably hear their name soon, but with them, and literally, it didn't go as planned as we wanted it to go. So, after like we've been throwing out singles and stuff like that, songs together and shit, it kind of went to a halt and stopped. And after it stopped, um, I really stopped making music because I was like dealing with personal shit and shit like that. But GDK, Tony, and Rick, they all kept on making music and they are the original creators and original founders of Sound, so, aka Sound Global. that made you want to start making music? Ooh, that's a good one. All right, um, my first influence uh, is Kid Cudi, definitely. That's my fucking rock man. I love that man so much. Um, my mom actually, for Christmas when I was, what, 12 years old, uh, she got me Kid Cudi, uh, Man on the Moon, End of Day. That was the first album. And then the second present was, uh, what was it? It was uh, Lady Gaga, the Fame Monster, and just mixing and hearing those sounds together, and the way it moved me and made me want to create something like that, just made me want to keep going with everything that I wanted to do. Um, also, my brother Dante, um, he gave me hella rock music, hella hip hop to listen to and shit, and. He always used to say when I was like little, I used to like look like Cameron. So like I searched Cameron, the whole dipset and shit, looked up dipset, then eventually after I got off of dipset, he showed me who Kanye was. Cause like growing up in Chicago, you knew who Kanye was, but like me, I was little so I didn't know that much about him. But like after my brother told me about him and everything, it's just I listened to all of them. Mostly, mostly the inspirations though came from Cuddy, Cameron, Kanye, uh, the clips, uh, shit, I would say Outkast, a lot of Outkast, honestly, um, and I want to say Tupac, because my dad listened to a lot of Tupac too, and just hearing the way that, like, Tupac was so aggressive and inspirational in his music, made everything much more captivating and made me want to like just learn more about hip hop and all about this shit to the point where I just started wanting to do it. What would you say your process for making music consists of? The process, all right, what I like to do, say like I just dropped a single called Run A Blank. Um, really most of my music just comes like off the head, what I'm feeling in the stew at that time, then I'll create it. But really my process is like, 
just me based on real life, real life events and how I'm feeling. Um, so if I'm feeling like a moody ass way, I've been feeling like a moody ass way for a minute, I will put that shit in the music, definitely. Like, if I'm feeling happy, inspirational, I want to give that happiness and inspiration to anyone who is willing to listen or, you know what I'm saying, anyone who's going to click on the song. But like, really, it's like, the process really, it just, it just comes all naturally. It's, I really don't have like a set way of making it. It's just like what I'm feeling, um, what I'm trying to, the message I'm trying to portray to the artist. I mean, not to the artist, but to the audience. And um, really just with the team, you know what I'm saying? And how what we're doing is going to correlate into the future. Basically, that's it. Do you have any upcoming projects or singles that you're gonna be releasing soon? Yes, uh, this is really disclosed. What we're gonna do exclusive for Vince, because it's my nigga. So, um, I got this project uh, with Cyan, a very good producer, one of my best friends, one of the greatest producers ever. I mean, ever, I said it ever. Um, me and him got a collab project together. Um, we're going over a few names for it, but it's not really set in stone. Um, but right now, I'm just calling it Thank You, Cyan, because that's my whole ad lib I use with the songs. Run right? a Blank is actually a single off of that project that's coming. That project is coming 2-7-2020. That's my birthday, so be on the look for that. Um, and I got a single coming out on Halloween. This shit is going to be crazy. And it's called uh, New Trainers. Definitely, definitely. Um, Dev Die Alone, that man is fucking insane. Uh, definitely want to do a song with G, G shit. That man is fucking inspirational, just crazy within itself. Um, Ronin, um, that boy Hummer, that boy Hummer is really fucking raw. Want to do a song with that boy Hummer. Um, shit. I'll probably do a song with Coffin, honestly. See what that's like. Um, neglect the all, all of Neglect Division. I want to do shit with, honestly. That's probably it right there. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? Five years. Um, stable living. Uh, making money off of this music. Um, doing more crazy ass shows, hopefully. This is a big goal, but hopefully I feel like like I know I can get it achieved. I want to sell out an arena. Ain't got to be a big arena, but I want to sell out an arena. Um, with Sound Global, obviously, with the team. Um, I'm just inspiring, bro. Having the whole, like, not even the whole world, but like at least half of the world knowing who I am and what my message is. And that's basically to inspire everyone around me to be greater than what they are. You know what I'm saying? Any advice for upcoming artists trying to get into the music scene? Um, be yourself. That's like, I cannot stress that enough. Just be yourself and people will listen, man. Like, you can't be you no know, follower. You can't be somebody that's trying to make music like other big artists that's out there. Um, make sure you have a plan of what you actually want to do with your music and not just making music because you want to make music because like you can do that but odds are if you're doing that you're not gonna be as talented as you want to be as all these other great artists in the game um just stand for yourself don't take no bullshit from nobody um until you feel like you're worthy of uh charging for your features then do that um never give your features away for free because like that's not what we is you know what i'm saying like i charge for features now because i feel like my verses and everything is worthy um manage your time well and i mean that with like work shit like job like everything like 
manage your time super well because your time is literally all that you're gonna need for when you want to make music. That's probably it. What can Jacksonville do to improve its social scene? Um, stop being selfish, man. Like we all chasing a common goal. Um, just coming together as a city. Um, and that means like. If somebody's having shows, like, offer those other people that you see making music to do a show. Um, you know, it's like share everything on social media. Somebody should get a Jack's page going, post everybody's music on there. I know it's probably hella that is on there on uh, Instagram and shit. Um, but just coming together, not being so selfish and not being so stuck up and shit. And everybody just being together, enclosed, and making sure that everybody's straight. You ain't gotta fucking check on niggas and shit like that, but just like, if you feel like somebody ain't getting the recognition they deserve, then, you know, throw them out there to the people, let them see them, you know what I'm saying? Um, respect, respect everybody's craft 100%, no matter if you like it or not. If you don't like it, don't bash that man for it, because obviously, he has people that like it because he's doing it for somebody, not just for himself. So just being unified. That's all I can say. What's some philosophy that you live by? Um, staying true to yourself. Um, and not trying to really just prove yourself to others. Just really proving yourself to yourself. You know what I mean? Um looking out for anyone that you say you care about or anyone that says they care about you. Always being there 100% for anyone and everyone that you surround yourself with. Make sure that you see yourself in that person or at least a bit of peace. You know what I mean? Um, always keep, keep motivation. Always keep motivation. Keep yourself inspired. Um, don't let anything don't let anything affect your mind man. as far as like drugs or people's comments, people's opinions, uh, shit like that. Also stay stay getting stay gaining knowledge from any and everyone that you can like. Literally, even if it's dumbass people that fucking piss you off every day at work or fucking at school or some shit. Like, it's knowledge that you're gaining from them because you're thinking to yourself that you don't want to be like that or you don't want to inherit those habits, ha uh, habits that anyone, like, that that person is giving you. Know what I mean? Um, basically, just being... 100% you and finding your purpose on this earth because everybody has a purpose to do something You just have to find it and find it in the correct way And make sure that you're doing it and delivering it in the correct way Like me, I feel like my purpose on earth is to inspire Also to be there for people And also to make this music for those people who don't have the, abil the ability to inspire themselves You know what I mean? But like I wanna, like what I'm trying to do is spark that inspiration in somebody to get them up off their ass to go do whatever the fuck they want because the world is limitless. You're limitless to do any fucking thing. Like literally, you can do anything in this world if you put your mind to it. A lot of people just don't put their mind to anything because they hear people saying they can't do this or this is too much to do or are you sure you can handle this but it's like fuck that like if you want to do it no matter how difficult it is you're going to take the steps to do it either if it's too hard or if it's too easy or whatever just do what you feel and whatever you feel go achieve it always do whatever the fuck makes you happy don't worry about anybody in this fucking world. Um, be yourself, stay true to yourself, 
Make sure you don't fucking sleep on me, man. Because I'm one of the greatest artists of all time. And I mean that shit. One of the greatest of all fucking time. Yeah, but Duke 597 with Sound Global. And you're watching 47 Films. Shout out, Benz.